A question I get often, can you tie a perforated French drain pipe into a solid downspout line? I get this question all the time and I'm going to answer it in this video. You're going to need to know the details. You're going to need to know what it takes to get it right. If you're going to tie a French drain into a downspout line, you have to make sure that your French drain is not as deep as your downspout line. It has to be on higher ground. Here's a single pipe, shallow French drain. You can see by the perforations in this pipe, this is to take in the surface water underneath this bay window and to pull in all the groundwater. This is a very shallow French drain. You can see that it's only about seven inches deep and then it's tied in to a solid downspout. But the French drain is shallower than the downspout line. This is extremely important. If this French drain would have been deeper, all the downspout water would fill the French drain. Now you're doing just the opposite. You're bringing additional water and saturation to an area that you were trying to dry out. In a case like this, you'd have water running down the basement wall and you'd be flooding out your basement. Water takes the path of least resistance. Going uphill creates resistance. So just make sure that your downspout line that you're tying into is downhill from your French drain system. Remember, there's all kinds of pollution coming off your rooftop. You don't want to backfeed all that pollution into your perforated pipe. It'll plug all the perforations in your French drain pipe and it'll no longer work and take in water. Always use a soil separator to prevent the stone from clogging with the dirt. When you go from your perforated pipe to your solid pipe, you're going to need a good double punched non-woven geotextile filter fabric that's going to filter out the dirt, but it'll let the water come through. You want to keep the voids between the stone open. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports our channel. And if you have any questions about this video, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.